Hi, we continue our coverage of IDEF 2025 in Istanbul. We are now on the booth of uh, a large uh, Turkish defense electronics company, Havelzan. They are showcasing this uh, CIC concept for the future uh, Milden submarine, a future submarine indigenously uh, designed and under production for the Turkish Navy. And to find out more about it, I am meeting with uh, Ahmed Ilan. Ahmed, good morning. Good morning, Javier. Thank you for welcoming us. Uh, I should mention you're a former submarine commander. You are now in charge of uh, concept design of uh, software and uh, CIC, CMS for the underwater domain, is that right? Yes, yes. I am work currently working as a concept development ex expert and uh, what we are seeing is the first physical layout of the uh, fourth generation command and control concept. Actually, this is uh, as Havelsan, it's our vision for the uh, submarine, uh, Mildan submarine command and control CIC, both layout and the software as well. This looks very avant-garde, very modern, I should even say futuristic. What's the whole idea behind you know, this uh, layout for the CIC of the future submarine? Okay, uh, if you just take a look in the here, we totally changed the classical version of the CIC combat management. Uh, the physical layout is take care of the commanding in the center and the consoles are inwards seeing each other which uh, helps to communicate the crew without the verbal communication so whereas in in service submarines the crews the operators are facing the wall right yes facing the wall and commanding officer is behind the operators so they block the screens and they don't even communicate with each other because they are making on a single line in this layout, this is called the orchestration. As the commanding officer, like a conductor in an orchestration, in an orchestra, uh, the operators' consoles are inwards so that they can communicate with each other. And also, there are big screens which currently most submarines don't have, and it's very important because the data we are using now visualized. So we need more screens, and for common understanding and situational awareness, all the crew has to look at the same screen and. Because of the data variation, tactical picture, onboard submarine, malfunctions or system uh, monitoring, we need to have this. Uh, these are the main key uh, advantages of the orchestration layout. I notice the submarine commander is wearing uh, VR goggles as well. Why is that? Yes, because we are also taking care, of, uh, taking into account the virtual reality. So it will be part of the command system as well. I mean, there are many advantages for this, but still, we are human-centric and the taking care of human factors because of the cognitive work of workload of the operators are increasing dramatically because of the flow of the data. So the cognitive workload should be decreased or managed with better consoles, better suitable for human uh, requirements. Is this? just conceptual or is this under development what's the trl level yes, for this now we are way about uh, after we finish the concept phase and we are making progress with the development uh, with the console designs and the layout everything is working uh, according to the plan so the goal is to actually see this on board the, the future summary yes as i said this is our mill uh, command and control vision wow that's very uh, very impressive uh, Ahmed, there's also a bigger picture uh, beyond this. This fits into what you called the MDO. MDO. Before MDO, but Javier, I like to for talk about the fourth generation. Because, I mean, with this fourth generation, it's not the physical layout. The important thing is the submarine combat system with our approach is the whole submarine, not only operational weapon, but also technical, also logistics, everything makes the combat system. So there are many procedures, business we call the standard operating procedures, we focus on them, and there's a huge big data. To realize this big data, we have to take the advantage of the AI, 
and AI components. We develop uh, operation intelligence and operation autonomy concepts under the fourth generation command control system. Operation intelligence detects the relationships, patterns and anomalies in those function areas of the submarine and what is the effect of those changes into the operation itself not only firing a torpedo but the whole overall operation so and the operation autonomy takes the results of the operation intelligence and used as a decision support for the commanding officer of crew submarine and in case of unmanned submarines or UUVs it controls the operation autonomy uh, is used for the management of the platform so it's not only for submarines in the big picture you can adapt it to other uh, platforms as well I should say but the idea as you said is the MDO multi-domain operation because now the multi-domain operation is defined as the orchestration of military activities in all domains and environments synchronized with non-military activities at the convergence speed of relevance so this speed of relevance is taking the command and control systems uh, loops turning very fast so the only decision support part is done by the human and the rest observation orientation and uh, the act uh, phases are done by the computer uh, we call the fourth generation itself this is the our concept very well Ahmed thank you very much I appreciate that thank you Javier